Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I upload. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some Rosalind gel polishes. They sent me 10 of their beautiful soft rainbow colors. So they all came packaged in this styrofoam pack. They also do come wrapped in a bag, a Ziploc bag. I also get a discount code, which is Rosalind15OFF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my affiliate link down below. And if you guys are interested in these, you can go follow that link and it will take you straight to these polishes. This is what their bottles look like. So they have that beautiful sheen shimmer to them, like, like a very fine, fine gold shimmer really like them they look nice and sleek i love the matte gold lids all right so displayed right here in front of me i have all 10 colors i did use two coats to show you how gorgeous these are before we get into today's video i do want to remind you guys that the coldest water bottle has just launched some really beautiful colors for the winter time they are the coldest water bottle out there in the game colder than yeti colder than hydro flask like there are reviews on that if you do not believe me i promise you guys these things stay cold forever they can also stay just as hot they are all insulated 99% of them do fit in most cup holders. They do have a lot of different sizes. They have a lot of different colors to choose from. And I do have a discount code down below if you are interested. So shout out to the Coldest Water Bottle Company. Great gift for Christmas for your significant other. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be using my Eno Couture brand new Maximum Square Nails. So I want to show you the picture I was inspired by and who I was inspired by. Her Instagram is another Seattle artist. Right here is her Instagram that she had some beautiful rainbow um, like coffee mugs. They just really screamed my name. You guys know I love lots of color. So that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. All right, so quickly, just wanted to let you guys know, I did go ahead and file the free edge. I did buff off the shine around the cuticle and around my walls, the side walls. Go ahead and take a primer. I'm going to go ahead and prime the top of the nails because I didn't buff the entire surface. Um, put the primer on where I didn't buff. Okay, so after you have your primer applied, kind of like a etching ritual, if you will. So I'm gonna grab my Burano 3-in-1 base coat. Just put one thin coat of my base over the entire nail. After you have, a, have applied your base, go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds in your light. Okay, after you have cured those, as you can see on this picture, the cups are pink and blue. I'm using the Rosalind pink and the Rosalind blue. Go ahead, put on your coat of blue. All right, once you have the blue done, go ahead and give that a 60 second cure. Now I'm gonna take the pink and I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Okay, got the pink done, gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. I'm gonna take my Eno Couture Velvet Matte Top Coat and put a coat of that on. Once you have your matte top coat applied, go ahead and give that a full 60 second cure. All right, you guys, they're both out of the lamp. The matte top coat is cured and I've taken my Madame Glam's white pudding gel. It's a very thick like drawing gel. It's really, really nice. So I've been using that to draw my rainbow lines. I'm doing seven lines 
in between those lines will be the color. So I'm going to be doing seven lines on every single nail, pink and blue. I'm using my Eno Couture. This is his new purple Sailor Magic art brush. And it's super, super tiny. It works great for fine lines. And I'm just gonna show you guys like one because this takes forever. Pretty much all you're gonna do, make sure that you flash cure these in between, but you're just gonna dip your brush into the white. Start your line. Now you wanna make sure the width is pretty close. So that's what I'm gonna do all the way down. So we just gotta trust the process. Funny, I know. I, I did have it on my stand, but I do wanna mention, I got some double-sided tape from the Dollar Tree. This is what it looks like. And that's what I actually have. I have a piece of that double-sided tape and the nails are sticking to it actually very well. So I went ahead and did all of my lines with the white. Then this side, this side is gonna be different than this side. So this side, the white is gonna be 3D or should I say more 3D than the blue. So what I have done, as you can see, it is all raised. It may not be perfect, but it is all raised up. And what I have actually used, you guys are gonna be shocked. I have had this little pot here with the same mix for, I would think, two, maybe three years. If you go back in my videos, it, it was a long ways back. This is white poly gel and starch because I did used to do cornstarch nails years ago, guys, years ago. But I'm still using the same stuff from years ago, literally. I have done this whole set right here. I am just about finished. I'm just gonna show you guys how, I, how I'm doing it. So what I'm doing and what you can do is you can take a white poly gel. I've got one out just in case I have to mix some more up. Take a white poly gel and some cornstarch and mix it until you get a real nice like gum, maybe a little thicker than gum, where you can roll it and it doesn't stick to your fingers. Or if it does stick to your fingers, don't worry about it because all you gotta do is add a little bit of clear acrylic to your fingers or to your gloves. I do suggest wearing gloves. I do not have any at this time. Make sure your surface is clean. Get it in your hand like this. You see how it's, it's just, it's not sticking at all. And you're going to roll that into a very thin line and you can actually make candy canes this way. You can do like that rope style nail design this way. So then what I do is I'll just cut it right here. Just take a little silicone tool and just cut it right in, the, right in half. And then I'll grab this piece and I'll make it thin. I'll just keep rolling it in between my finger and the mat. Once you get it on the line, press it in a little bit. Go ahead and bring it over. Make sure it's on the line. Press it down just a tad. Now remember these are still gonna be sticky. So it's gonna give that adhesion to stick. And when I'm happy with the placement, I'll go up underneath and I'll just clip that right off there like that. Go over, press that down. Just don't press down too hard to get right there. I take the tweezers and just scrape that right off. And then I just continue. Stuff is still good after so many years. Just goes to show you, as long as you keep gel, if you make a 3D gel or 4D gel, just make sure to keep it in a dark, cool place and you, it, you'll be good. Like you can make colors, like back in the day, I used to make all kinds of colors with pigment, gel polish, I mean, you name it. If you search back in my videos, you'll find all those. I go ahead and do a full 
60 second cure. So with this one, I am going to take the white pudding gel by Madame Glam again. And I'm just gonna go over my lines two more times. As you can see, hard as a rock. They're all completely cured. So for the cloud, for this nail here, I am going to grab these cloud stickers and I'm gonna randomly put those on there. And I believe these are from Eno Couture. All right, we got our clouds on, that's cute. I like that, I like that. All right, now I'm gonna take the gel polish and I'm gonna start polishing the inside of the rainbow. I'm gonna do two or three coats, that way you guys can like, you can really see it. But all I'm doing is I'm taking the um, liner brush and I'm just going in between in between the rainbow. And I'm gonna take a wipe and I'm just going to like, just to wipe the very top off. I go ahead and cure that for a full 60 seconds. All right, so this one I have started on. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm taking my Eno Couture Gold. This is gel polish number 63. It is a gorgeous gold, as you can see. There we go. There is that beautiful, gorgeous gold. And I'm gonna go over the rainbow, the white part of the rainbow with the gold. And that's what I've been doing here. I am using the exact same brush. And in between I'm flash curing because this polish moves around a lot. Go right on top of that white. Once you have it, go ahead and give it a cure. Okay, so as you can see, I did the gold outline around this set of rainbows and I'm leaving this set white. I'm thinking of taking that same gold polish and I'm gonna drop a dot And I'm gonna pull that up to make a raindrop. Just like so. And I'm gonna flash cure in between cause I know they'll be moving around. We have the raindrops applied and fully cured. All right, so the next polish that I'm using is a glitter polish, but it is a beautiful silver reflective gel polish. And I've actually got it mixed here with some of Glitter Mixer by Eno Couture. This is his cooking gel. And I wanted to do that to thin the polish out a little because the polish was really, really glittery. <laughs> and I don't want it to overpower the color. So going in with the same brush that I have been using, we're kind of like filling it with that glitter polish. It's not gonna, it's not gonna overpower the color. So you're still gonna get that beautiful co uh, rainbow color. But yet, it's, you know, it's gonna look pleasing because it's glittery. And then when you go on the sun, it's gonna look even better. I won't ever do another set like this. This is taking me forever. So I went ahead and top coated everything with a shiny top coat except the actual nail I left that matte. That polish that I mixed I did want to go ahead and give that company a shout out because it's such a gorgeous polish. So iMethod Beauty had sent me their um they sent me two packs. This is their diamond gel nail polish pack number two and it has the silver and the purple diamond gel polish. So I used the silver one and that's the one I showed you guys that I mixed with the Glitter Mixer Cooking Gel by Eno Couture. But I think we are finally finished. I just wanted to give I Met The Beauty a shout out, but I'll be doing a video on these very soon. So I got this little spinner piece from Shein. It comes in a pack of five. And I'm gonna take a tiny little dab of gel on the nail. Okay, just a little itty bitty dot. You're gonna put the spinner on top of that little dot of gel and squish that down. I'm gonna flash cure that on there. I'm gonna take a little bit of gel again. You're gonna put it right on the top of that spinner. And don't worry if it's upside down, 
Go ahead and flash cure that on there. Okie dokie, you guys. Woo, looky, we got a little spitter. We got a little spitter. Oh, how cute. All right, so now it's time to apply them. These are press-ons, as you already know. I am gonna use my little tabs. You can get these on Shein for a very, very low price. Sicky look. <laughs> I did two hands. Let me know what you guys think of that down in the comment section because I never do two hands. And let me tell you, <laughs> it was so hard trying to get these polishes and everything over here to show you guys because I have nails on both hands and they're super long. So, oh my God, I love them. I love them. You guys, let me know what you think. What do you think? Let me know, let me know. Would you guys rock these? Maybe if they were shorter, would you guys rock these? If they were longer, would you guys rock these? Let me know, let me know down in the comment section down below. The rings I found at Five and Below, so shout out to them. They had some really adorable rings. Um, how, you know, the rings that only go up so much so far. But look at this. This is this little spinners from Shein and the little cloud is from the Glam Pack shop. So everything that I used in today's video will be listed down in my description box and you want to purchase this set. It's a really nice set. I am going to give this Rosalind gel polish set five baby girl nails. And I want you guys to tell me which ones of which set, the right or the left, is your favorite. What do you guys think of me doing both sets? Would you like me to do this more often or just stick to my one, one hand? Check out the Rosalind website. They have a lot of really nice things I think you guys would really enjoy. With that said, I'm going to send you all love and light. Hope you all have a blessed week weekend, day, night, evening, whatever it is for you. And I will see y'all in the next one. Hope y'all have a blessed day. Stay safe. Bye.